Chapter 72 provided us a lot of information to decode Boruto's time skip fate. We might have even found the time skip key that I mentioned in my last video. But when is the most anticipated reveal of the series going to take place? Boruto's Jogen could be his only hope to overcome the dark phase of his life. So let us try to predict the exact manga debut of the Jogen with everything we got to know from this chapter. Subscribe for more amazing stuff and let's begin. Just like it's certain that Boruto will fall into the dark side, the Jogen will also be awakening real soon to provide him a huge help. The pure eye might purify the curse that Momoshiki has prophesied about the blue-eyed boy. A number of details were revealed to us about Boruto's dark destiny in chapter 72. Like there's gonna be a very unfortunate incident that will make Boruto lose hope, the blue karma builder losing his will to live, the predestined fate that cannot be changed easily, and Momoshiki's ultimate goal to become Boruto Uzumaki. The Osusuki's plan is to take over Boruto entirely once he falls prey to his dark fate that will lead him to chronic depression. It's pretty obvious that this claim of Momoshiki has scared the shit out of Boruto and as we know from the prologue scene, he won't be able to save his village. But there is still some hope written in Boruto's fate in the form of the Jogen, a unique dojutsu that has been foreshadowed since the early days of the show. By the events of this chapter, we know that once Momoshiki's prophecy will come true, Boruto will need something to rekindle the hope in his heart. There is no way he would have worn the shinobi headband again if he wouldn't have found a way to overcome the grief. That's why even Kawaki seems shocked when Boruto claimed to be a shinobi. To crack the Jogen code, we will need to examine the hints of Boruto episode 8. From Toneri to Kagemasa, all the hints from the 8th anime episode of Boruto could solve the Jogen mystery if we apply the intel of the latest chapter to them. But before that, let's talk about Momoshiki's genius plan to mess with Boruto's mental health. We all know Toneri's prophecy will help Boruto to overcome Momoshiki's prediction. And there is no way Momoshiki is not aware about the major role of Jogen in Boruto's life. So why does he keep on haunting Boruto if he knows the pure eye will ultimately fail his plan? Well, there are possibly three explanations for this question. The first one talks about Momoshiki's inability to foresee the entire fate of Boruto, especially the part where he unlocks the Jogen. Most probably because once Boruto awakens the pure eye, his curse shall be purified and Momoshiki's existence will vanish from his life completely. The second reason could be Momoshiki's relentless endeavor to destroy Boruto's mental health. In this way, the blue eyed boy won't be able to utilize the Jogen even if he unlocks it, which is in turn a win win situation for the monster. The final possibility is an interesting one. Chances are Momoshiki is trying to change. Boruto's destiny by manipulating him into believing he shall lose everything. The placebo effect of constantly reminding himself of the dark prophecy will end up in Boruto actually losing it all. And the further manipulation of Momoshiki could somehow stop him from willing to regain everything he lost. However, the plans of the Osusuki are bound to fail because of Boruto's mystical dojutsu. The Jogen is an ancient eye of the Osusukis that is believed to have connections with the Osusuki god. The reason why Boruto was chosen to build it is still a mystery and it could serve an even greater role than just helping him to get out from the dark phase. For now, let's just assume the darkness that Toneri warned Boruto about is the same twist of fate Momoshiki is so obsessed with. The pure eye could help Boruto to go through it, so let's discuss what possible events could lead to its awakening by taking context from Boruto episode 8. This anime episode not only gave us the context of Boruto's right eye for the first time, but also introduced us to Kagemasa, a TV show superhero from the Naotoverse who also possesses a special ability in one of his eyes. Kagemasa is actually the name of a real life warrior who is famous for having continued to battle even after losing an eye during the Bosanan War of Japan's Heian period. It is believed Kagemasa was 16 years old at that time. By this we can conclude the war that Code is gonna wage against the Leaf very soon will be the time when Boruto shall lose his right eye, marking the beginning of his dark fate. I'm not sure whether the age factor from the real Kagemasa story will influence Boruto's fate or not, cause if that would be the case, then it seems like it's gonna take a few years before Code attacks the Leaf. Moreover, Kawaki's fallout with Boruto could be a sign of Garaga's prophecy about betrayal coming true. That will finally lead us to the most awaited event. Boruto upon seeing the worst possible things in his life shall be enlightened with hope by the Osusuki god in the form of the Jogen. I have come up with a solid theory to conclude why the Osusuki god might be directly responsible for Boruto's Jogen awakening. What if just because Boruto is the only pure Osusuki who doesn't possess the Osusuki will to devour planets for chakra fruits could be the reason behind the Osusuki god blessing him with the Jogen to cure the ailment of the shinobi and the alien world. Maybe there is a great mission for Boruto that revolves around the Osutsuki realm after the events of the time skip. The Jogen's role in rehabilitating Boruto and making him the savior of not only the shinobi world but also the Osutsuki realm makes the pure eye more than just a dojutsu for the blue eyed boy. But we are still left with the most important question. What's the event Momoshiki has been haunting Boruto about? That will take everything away from him. So check out this video to find the answer to this question and don't forget to subscribe for more Boruto stuff. I will see you next time.